How to Discunkify Your Home, take one. Hey everyone, it's me, Halise, back with a video. If you follow me on Snapchat, then you know that my dog recently decided to take on a skunk and of course she lost miserably. So naturally she brought that smell into our home with her. <laughs> um, so step one is deskunkify the source you know, which in my case is my dog. Um, if you wanna learn how to deskunkify your dog, what you can wash your dog with, check out the video in the Eye of Sauron. Um, the first thing I would say to deskunkify your home is open all of the windows. The beautiful thing about homes is that they're insulated and the terrible thing about homes is that they're insulated. So while insulation helps keep things out of your home, insulation also helps things not leave your home so basically you want to make your house not so insulated so it can literally air out so open all the windows turn on all the fans let your home air out as long as you can so because i work from home i just left the windows open once i got up for work the next day and would just leave them open i left them open for a good two days the second thing i did was um, make sure that the smell didn't seep into any of the dog beds. So as soon as Dakota ran back inside because she was scared, she immediately went to what she considers a safe space, which is her dog bed, um, because that's how we trained her. So to, in order to discunkify that, I uh, used baking soda. A lot of baking soda products now, you can buy them specifically for carpet deodorizing for pets and things like that. Um, I used some of that on each of her dog beds. Yes, she has a dog bed in every room. Yes, we're bougie about the dog. Don't judge me. Let it sit for 15, 20 minutes, vacuum it off, or um, you know, get rid of the residue that it leaves behind. The third thing I would suggest doing is using some kind of lemon-based cleaner if your floors will allow it, where the dog has run about in your home because chances are the smell is on their paws and now it's on your floor. After you feel like you've vented out the house as best you can, go ahead and close all your windows, but keep your fans going and freshly ground coffee seem got really got rid of the smell quickly like in a day and depending on the size of your home have multiple batches of freshly ground coffee in little cans or plates around your house this house that i currently rent is around 1300 square feet so standard like three bedroom two bedroom two bathroom house and i put essentially a plate of coffee in each area so there's a plate of coffee in the living room, the kitchen, our bedroom, my office, and the guest bed. And that was enough to soak up all those smells. Now, once you get to this point where you are putting coffee everywhere, go ahead and open up your cabinets and your closet doors too, because chances are the smell is still stuck in those places and you need those places to air out as well. So. Um, make sure to leave all your, your pantry doors open, your cabinet doors open, your closet doors open. So the rest of that skunk smell that has probably gotten in there that you just didn't realize it got in, it can come out too and that coffee can get rid of it. And so yeah, that those are the things I did to deskunkify my house. And it took all in all the entire process I mean, once I, once I put the coffee out, it was a day. It was like, the smell was pretty much gone in a day. But I mean, overall, letting my hair, letting the house air out and all of that, the whole process took about two and a half, three days to truly feel like I had completely gotten rid of all of the skunk smell. That's me, I just wanted to get on and explain that to y'all because I have learned so much about skunks and their smells and how to get rid of them that you know I just wanted to share. So I hope that helps. In the comments below, let me know if you have any other tips and tricks on how to deskunkify your home or your pet, and I will see you when I see you. Don't forget to start your week with me. I push out new videos every Monday at noon central time. And make sure to follow me on social media so you can stay in tune with everything I've got going on. I'll see you when I see you.